Several new reports from real estate companies suggest that buyers may be starting to get a break in this red hot market. More listings are coming up for sale and some sellers are actually lowering their asking prices. The number of new listings last week jumped up 8% from a year ago, according to Realtor.com. Hi, I'm Rich Barnes, owner broker of Realty Experts in West Dallas, Wisconsin, and the total amount of active inventory for sale is still down 13% from a year ago, but it may be on track given the rise in new listings to surpass year ago levels by fall. Prices, however, are still well above year ago levels. Higher mortgage rates are also making housing less affordable. The average borrower is now paying 38% more than they would have for the same house a year ago on a monthly payment, according to Realtor.com. As more supply comes on the market, mortgage rates rise sharply. Sellers appear to be coming back to earth, at least a little bit. About 12% of homes for sale had price drops during the four weeks ending April the 3rd. That's up from 9% a year ago, according to Redfin. The rate of sellers dropping their asking price is now growing faster each month than it has since August. Price drops are still rare, but in fact, they are becoming more frequent as clear sign that the housing market is cooling, said Daryl Fairweather, Redfin's chief economist. If consumer pessimism toward home buying conditions continues and the recent mortgage rates increasing are sustained, then we expect to see an even greater cooling of the housing market than previously forecasted, wrote Mark Palin, Vice President and Deputy Chief Economist of Fannie Mae. If you're thinking of selling, click the Learn More button below and take advantage of our strategic digital marketing plan that will put more eyes on your listing and more money in your pocket. And as always, you can rely on rich.com. Thanks and you have a great day.